Hi, it is free chatting time. So recently I shared the uh, structure platform type of Wing Chun and the uh, short strike platform type of Wing Chun. Well, today if we look back into history, both type of uh, Wing Chun exist because uh, it is uh, belong to the Wing Chun evolutions okay, in the history. So, we like it or not, we have to uh, accept that both exist within Wing Chun history. Okay. Now, so I got uh, questions from a Wing Chun friends asking me this. He said that, uh, okay, so you show us the uh, short strike platform Wing Chun. So how is the Wing Chun quit? such as Lai Lao Hui Song apply to a short strike uh, platform type of Wing Chun does it uh, apply at all? okay so that's the questions so today I'd like to share with you and let's uh, get this thing cleaned up in order to clean this thing up to really understand what is going on we need to understand Chinese culture okay and uh, the, the, the sad part, the tragedy part is that uh, for past 160 years or so, Chinese culture is not really being looked at seriously by the uh, majority of people including the Chinese. Okay? So for example, even say in the Buddhism, you can hear in the YouTube that uh, some high uh, monk in Buddhism saying that you know people recite the the the, the Heart Sutra, you know the Zen Heart Sutra, the Heart Sutra, but the people do not understand what it is. Okay, so 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 there is a big issue there if one do not understand what is the the the, the the culture is about okay and when we do not understand what is the uh, the ancient talking about then uh, we interpret ourselves we using modern or western thinking to interpret that thing or looking at the quid for example like a like a literature okay so people uh, often people uh, read a, a, a Chinese uh, uh, quit be in Wing Chun, Taoist, Dao, Lao Tzu, or Buddhist, then they just translate it like a language, okay? And uh, then, then all arguments and debating come up, say, well, you know, this is my translation, this is your translation. Well, you know what? All of those are tra translations of language or uh, it's just a kind of philosophy uh, based on different people's point of view to translate it but is it what it is? the answer is majority majority is not what it is because quit is a description of reality quit is not a philosophy okay quit like Lai Lao Hui Song is described how things work. Okay. Same with the like the Heart Sutra, Prajaparamita Heart Sutra, the emptiness there. Now we all can hear form is emptiness. Emptiness is no different than form. So what is the the, 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 the emptiness? What is it turns out that it's not emptiness. Somebody you know, you look at the entire world, translate the done thing into emptiness, comb into emptiness or void. But you know, what is that? What is it? That term is not emptiness, it's not void. That is, that term is impermanent. Meaning that the body, the form is impermanent. It's not like everybody today say, oh, it's void, it's a... Uh, is emptiness and then everybody have this philosophy enlightenment awakening you got problem big problem there that's why nobody become arhat anymore okay 
because we're really sitting around, compare language, and then uh, debate philosophy that it doesn't even know what is the Buddha is talking about. Yes, form is no different than emptiness. Emptiness is no different than form. That emptiness, the comb, is not emptiness. That is so, so is impermanent. So you say that form is no different than impermanent, meaning everything changes. Okay? Okay, so let's get into this. If we want to uh, understand martial arts in Chinese culture, the following we must know. Otherwise, you will never be able to, to know what it is, okay? And your five cents and my five cents doesn't mean a thing, okay? So forget about those English translation, Google translations. Well, Google does not have the artificial intelligence to understand what the heck is Chinese culture yet, okay? Now, and even in the university, okay, people, you see all these translations and all this philosophy, okay, they don't understand Chinese culture. Okay, now, in traditional Chinese martial art, three things, basic bottom line things, if one is trained, properly trained in traditional Chinese martial arts, like uh, prior to 1850s, three things, three categories need to be known. One is the fight, which is the handling of the momentum, exchange of the momentum handle. Okay, so handling the momentum, impose momentum in physics, okay, meaning things moving around, how to handle those things. That's the thing that's called fight. The second is the form, the explicit form. It's called Quan Kui in Cantonese. Okay. So the first is the the, the, the handling of moment, momentum and impulse, you know, like in physics, classical Newtonian physics. And then the second is the form, how the, the, the body looks like, how the motion looks like. That's form. Okay. Or how the uh, the force is being used. That's the form. That's the Q. Okay. So the third one is Gong. Gong is actually your body conditioning. So you have the, the, the three things, uh, the, uh, the uh, momentum handling, the, the form, the, the, the movement, the, how, the way how they use force, and then the body conditioning. Every martial art has a uniqueness map. So if you say this is Tai Chi Quan, they have their uniqueness. If this is Yong Chun Quan, you have their uniqueness. If this is Xing Yi Quan, you have their uniqueness. They are not the same. Okay? On these three. So if this three is not clearly understood and developed for the fundamental, forget about it. One does not have a complete understanding of what martial art is that. Okay? Now, going downward, or deeper, one need to understand the the form and the characteristics, form and characteristic. Okay, so so what do you mean by form? Form is explicit shape. For example, Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa explicit shape is a nun, right? Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa's characteristics. You know, as uh, we can uh, see from the YouTube uh, website story saying that Mother Teresa said uh, something like, uh, if this is a, uh, if this is a, a, a movement for uh, peace, I'll join. If this is for anti-something, I'll not join. That's her character. Okay, that's characteristics. So, so in order to understand Mother Teresa, you need to understand the She's a, uh, a nun, explicit the form, and then the character. She is uh, she go for peace, and she not going for anything which against anybody. Okay, so that's how uh, this uh, the 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 the, uh, the 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 martial art has to be understood, or has to be uh, uh, learned. Okay, so. Another example is this. For example, this hand. Okay? Well, we will say, well, 
if you look at this, this is Han Cao, right? This is Han Cao, right? Well, not exact because this is the form. What is the character? Okay, what is the character? So, so this is a form, but we need to find out what is the character. Is the character cross out, blocking, or the character just uh, sickle in, sickle in to uh, receive or accept? Okay, so there are two different kind of character. One is to cross out, to block, okay, to sustain, to to to, to withhold or whatever other people. The other one is like a sickle, it cut in and it, it receives it. Okay, so that is the correct uh, characteristics. So one need to know both, like this is the pencil form, and then the characteristic if according to source right is a sickle back received. Okay, so when source strike it talk about Tan Sao, it is very specific. The form is like this, and the characteristic is sickle in, receive in, not cross up. Okay, so that is you know the form, and then you know the characteristics. One need to know that. So on the top, you have this momentum handling, you have this uh, form. Or movement, and then you have the uh, you have the uh, body conditioning, one uh, 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 step deeper. You need to know the form and the characteristic. So if you know this, it's not up for anybody to interpret. It's clearly defined there. Okay. So. Now let's get into the short strike. Okay, it's all traditional Chinese martial arts short strike. Let's get into the form. The form is narrow stance. Okay, narrow stance, and the bar the arm is close to 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 to, to body. That's the form. Okay, the characteristics. Is shoot in, talk in at this range, okay, and attack both with the feet, the low part body, and the top part of the body, okay, and the core handling and the feet handling is the first priority, while the the, the arm handling is the second priority because it is about has to be really fluidity to move. So that is the characteristic of the short strike. So if I do this, it doesn't. This is the form, but it, it doesn't tell that it is a short strike or it is a, a, a what kind of art. But when you have this dash in twerking, you attack both from leg and the arm in the same time, and then uh, this is the first priority. Handling and you so with this the form and the characteristic one no this is so strike this is how it is defined okay now so it's not up to for us to 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 define anything we want the Chinese has been living for thousands of years they are pretty details without this they will not stay last this long okay so okay so let's get to the queen queen the line out for you so let's start with the tone okay now let me let me let me share with you a more complete quick of this okay in 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 uh in in in, in mandarin okay it is Lai Liu Qi Song, which is Lai Lao Hui Song. Okay. Tuo Shou Zhi Chong, which is Blood uh, Subject uh, Chong. Okay. And then, which is Sang Lai Xia Qi. Okay. Xiong Lai Ha Chui. Okay. And then, Xia Lai Sang Gong. When they come from the bottom, okay. 
so so uh, 下海上工 okay, and then 刚柔并用 okay, so so that is is better to get you know uh, in English. So 来了会生辣少嘴臭，来了会生 meaning. You know, just not the language, just the the, the idea of what it is, right? Lai lao hui song, come, you uh, you retain it, you receive it, go, you send it away, okay? Just lai lao hui song, and then la sao jie chong, meaning that uh, you disengage and you trust in, okay? Disengage, you touch, trust in, and then uh. When it come from the top, the attack come from top, you actually attack him on the bottom, okay, in the lower part. If you attack it from the lower part, uh, you attack it from the top, okay. There is sang ai xia qi, xia ai san gong those things, okay. And then dan ru bing yong, hot and soft, uh, you use it. In the same time, hot and soft, you use in the same time. Okay, now, so let's go through one by one. So, this quick <coughs> actually uh, describing soft strike up. This quick is this, this, whatever I, I, I just share with you is describing soft strike up. Okay, so. Lat sao jie chong, lat sao jie chong. Disengage and trust in is actually do not go confront direct force with force. So lat sao or disengage meaning that you don't want to confront him uh, 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 force uh, with force. Okay, jie chong trust in. Okay, so it is simply this. Okay, this simply this, meaning that you don't want to you don't want to 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 mess around here with his arm techniques or whatever. You want just to get the angle you shoot in. That is lat sao zhe chong. Okay, that is lat, uh, describing the characteristic of the shot strike. Remember the shoot in. Otherwise, if we cannot. If the short strike people cannot get in, the game is over because short strike characteristic is here. Okay, now, so that is the disengage and trust in. Now, lai lao hui song. Okay, lai lao hui song means if he come, I will retain him. If he goes away. I will send him up. Okay. Now, this is how it works. If he come in, I will retain him. Okay. He come, I come. It's not he come in. I sit down here and uh, and, and and try to retain him. No, he come, I come. I have to borrow his momentum. If I am here sitting here. He come and I try to retain him. I'm too late because there's a momentum coming in. Okay, so lie loud, meaning he come. I'm going to trust in. Okay, I'm not going to stay here or go back. I'm going to go forward. Okay, and I'm going to stick him, retain him here. Okay, of course, attack him from the bottom, attack him from the top. Okay, that is lie loud. Now, Hui Song Min. At the instance of this contact, if he go away, if he, if he retreat, okay, retreat, then you attack him. You go in. You don't stop, okay. That's why Wing Chun never back off. He just go in, retain him. If he go away, you move him out. You throw him out, okay. So that's called song, like now for you song, okay. And always remember, it is the low part body attack and the upper body attack, okay. And if he try to go away, send him away, 
but send him away meaning you throw him you trick him okay so that is Laila Hui Song and now you have to go through the La Sao Zui Chong and then Lai Lao Hui Song okay and then this uh, 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 when he come from the top attack from the bottom when he uh, come in the bottom attack from the top it is like this right so if he if he if he strike me if he strike me this is come from the top right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in retain him okay and sweep him okay so that is when he come on the top okay I attack from the bottom I, I receive him here I retain him here you know like your luck here you just throw him not just kick him okay you go inside you just throw the damn thing down okay because you just want to take his uh, the, the, the vertical axis of center of gravity off and completely take him okay so that is the uh, when you come from the top you attack from the bottom okay now say if you attack from the bottom and I want to say when you attack from the bottom you take from the top okay so what does this mean same thing right he say he kicked me or he rushed into me I put the leg here jamming him over here I attack him I throw him okay so that is what about this uh sum sangong means it always attack up and down okay so it's not you just stand there no you just always up and down and then you just uh, play top or bottom bottom or top those kind of stuff and then uh, another the last one is saying that the uh, hot and soft uh, you use in the same time uh, or uh, simultaneously so what does that mean? that means I'm not going to counter him force by force I just receive him in okay, and strike him from here Okay, so I receive him, strike him from here, uh, leg already, right? So the strike is hard, the knot uh, uh, against him, force by force, is constant. So he come in, right? Soft. I strike him, same time. Oh, soft. Right? See this? Okay? So that is called uh, soft and hard use simultaneously. Okay? So this is actually, if you look at all these things, this is actually a description of soft strike. Okay? I avoid him, I trust him, I attack him. While in here, tangling and everything, if you want to go away, I set him up. Okay? If you attack him from the top, I attack him from the bottom. If you attack me here, I stood away, jam him, I throw him. Okay? So this is uh, 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 what the quid described. It is describing the sword strike. And of course, The, the other thing is the, the attack from the top uh, where the opponent comes from the top you uh, attack the bottom Sangai is also can say attack from the top attack down okay those are the same thing because it's always uh, it, 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 it just fight low up low up like this all at the same time it trip, it sweep uh, it crush into it it pressure into it those things over here okay but it's uh, alternate it either it can attack both in the up and down or alternate, 
alternative uh, alternate up and down depending on the situations okay so uh, this is how the quick apply to the short strike up and as you can see Wing Chun never retreat once you get in it never retreat okay and then it always want to get in and when you get in it never crush the strike is hard but the receive is soft because it never go force with force okay so this is how uh, the quit describing the act of short strike so to answer the questions from our Wing Chun friends does it apply to the short strike platform? does the quit apply to the short strike platform? the answer is the quit is a description of the short strike So uh, this is to share with you today.